Hello, thank you for clicking. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. You may know me from TikTok as Patty Pop Culture. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for coming. If it is not your first time here, thank you so much for coming back. I love you. I stand you. I'm in your fandom. This is a safe space to obsess over your fave celebs and not feel bad about it and just let your stan flag fly. So as we all know, Taylor Swift just released her immaculate 10th studio album called Midnight's that is already taking over the world along with its lead single, Antihero. Antihero is already projected to go number one on Billboard. It's everywhere in the world right now. I was out at the clubs last night and it was playing at every single club and people are really loving the song. It's kind of this song about Taylor Swift knowing she's seen as this hero of some sorts, but she feels like she used to be seen as a hero and now she's seen as an anti-hero because she's so hypercritical of herself and has a lot of things that she does not like about herself that she just cannot seem to shake from her mental. So the song is talking about everything that she feels shame for about herself. People seem to like the song, but they seem to not like the music video because of one specific scene where Taylor Swift steps on a scale and instead of getting her weight in pounds, it just says the word fat. Well, another Taylor is looking on at her with a very judgmental gaze that is supposed to represent her internal ED being critical of her and basically telling her that even though she's already teeny tiny, she should lose weight because she's not worthy and not good enough. The first thing I thought when I saw this was, I can't believe that she put that in there. But the second thing that I thought was, thank God she did because how relatable. As a content creator, I'm very cautious about what I say all the time, even if I am thinking it just because I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I never want to cause, cause harm to someone. And unfortunately, this, this did outrage a lot of people. Outrage ensued and people had a lot to say about that scene. Hey Taylor Swift, what the fuck dude? Being fat is not a bad thing and in five seconds of your music video you have successfully reinforced the idea that it is. But that does not give her permission to perpetuate a really harmful fucking narrative. Fat is not a feeling and feeling fat or fearing being fat or not liking the way you look which is often what feeling fat actually is does not mean that you deal with these systemic issues that actual fat people actually deal with. In 2010 to 2014, I was a counselor for teenage girls. And if this music video had come out then and they would have seen their fucking idol standing on a scale, looking disappointed and disgusted with herself and the word fat coming up, I can only imagine how hurt and disgusted with themselves so many of them would have been. Swifties, I am one of you. I'm one of you. Hear me out though. Do I really need, do I need to spell it out? Do I need to spell out why? That's a problem. But in Taylor Swift's new music video, she has an imagery that directly contributes to anti-fatness. Taylor Swift thinks being fat is a bad thing. Before I start, Taylor has dealt with an ED for a very long time, but she's been really open about it ever since 2019 in her documentary. I tend to get triggered by something, whether it's a picture of me where I feel like I looked like my tummy was too big or or like someone said that I looked pregnant or something, and that'll just trigger me to just starve a little bit just stop eating she's definitely a victim of this fat phobic culture that we were all raised to subscribe to and believe but she is trying to leave that thought process behind but it's really hard for her to do so and i think that is what the music video represents i don't think she was contributing to anti-fat acceptance in the slightest just because she's expressing this thought process that she has does not mean she's promoting it. She's not saying that the way she looks at herself in the scale is healthy. She's saying the exact opposite. It's unhealthy and she wishes she didn't feel this way about herself. She kind of represents the everyday person these days who's walking the line of living in a world where people are kind of shaming you for thinking that you are fat and being hard on yourself about your body. But then there's still a big chunk of humans who still will make you feel bad for being fat or gaining weight. So she's representing that person who's struggling with walking this fine line about how to feel. She doesn't know how to feel and she feels shameful that she does feel bad about her weight. So the people immediately coming for her for promoting anti-fat acceptance are dismissing her really fair and real experience. She probably is sorry for the fact that maybe this doesn't contribute to erasing fat phobia, but pretending a problem isn't there doesn't mean it's not there. Fat acceptance is easier said than done and millions of people, including myself, still deal with that same exact mindset of feeling shameful about feeling bad about your way and knowing that you shouldn't feel that way but not being able to help it because that's just the world we were raised in and it's a hard 
complex to shake. And a reaction like that that a lot of people gave her are what is what makes people not want to talk about their real experiences. She wasn't showing it in a derogatory way or an intentionally harmful way. And you can't dismiss her and make this experience all about your experience and how you would portray it and your agenda when there's still very nuanced and different experiences going on that unfortunately don't align with that. I think she can and will get to a place where she doesn't care about the scale, but instead of making TikTok saying that she's contributing to hate that people receive and that she's showing her real life experiences in the wrong way, maybe you can make TikToks showing her how to take one step forward to body acceptance and recovery so she doesn't have to feel that way about herself ever again and that would make real progress and real change in the whole body acceptance movement. I felt so bad for her that people were coming at her for that because it's already a sensitive topic that she was brave enough to share with us and then she just gets shit on. This is a great example of expressing a problematic or not socially acceptable viewpoint that you have in a really respectful, sympathetic way and showing that people deserve understanding back. And I think that's something that we can all do way more that would be much more productive. Anyway, go stream Antihero and thank you for watching this video. Again, this is a pop culture safe space, so subscribe if you want to obsess over your favorite celebs and artists even more and shamelessly do so. Make sure you like this video, go check out my podcast where we talk about what is going on in pop culture and see what life lessons we can extract from it for our own lives two times a week, every Tuesday and Friday. I'll put the link in the description below. Check out my TikTok, Instagram, like this video, subscribe, I already said that. But until next time, thank you for watching.